Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing about the railway signaling on which type of plug-in relays or style of plug-in relays with metal to carbon type contacts with metal to carbon type contact that is that is Q style relay that is Q style relay. So here you see style of the relay serial number style of the relay description contact arrangement application where used or application bar where it is to be used where it is to be used you see serial number one in which q n i q n one q n one so q style neutral relay q style neutral relay this is called description it is called as neutral line delay neutral line delay in which how many contacts are available maximum contacts are 16 contacts available whether the different different combination but whereas overall 16 contacts only will be available in qn1 neutral line delay style so the combinations are maybe 12 f 4b 12 front contacts 4 back contacts 8 f 8b 8 front contacts 8 back contacts 8 f 4b 8 front contacts 4 back contacts like that 6 f 6 b so 6 front contacts 6 back contacts so application where used application or where it is to be used for indoor and outdoor circuits in non re area please remember in non re area only qn1 style relay neutral line relay should be used qn1 style neutral relay should be used these relays are non ac immunized relay these, these relays are non ac immunized relays and second one is qn n i sorry qn n1 not i qn n1 neutral line field relays here nn means double n Double N means neutral plus neutral. Two rail, two line delays. Two rail line delays are clubbed in one group, one unit only, one unit only. Those relays will be called as QNN1. So these two relays operate individually. Please remember these two relays operate individually. They are having R1, R2, that is one, one, one coil and R3 and R4 that is another coil. So if R1 R2 has been energized, has been energized, then only first coil will be that is left hand side or right hand side basing on the arrangement. So that relay only will be pick up. And if you give the supply to the R3 and R4, then the other relay, the other relay will be picked up. So two twin relays, two relays is arranged in a one unit that will be called as neutral line twin delays neutral line twin delay the style is q n n 1 q n n 1 here the contact arrangement is six front contacts but two back contacts six front contacts but two back contacts that is rh right hand side and six f bar two b six front contacts two back contacts lh left hand so these relays are arranged in such a manner one delay is on left side and another relay then right side so these relays will be called as left hand side and right hand side twin relays are used where minimum contacts are required here normally the front 12 f 4b or 8 f 8b so 16 contacts may not be available may not be required for all the circuits for all the circuits 16 contacts may not be required where less contacts are required there we are going to use twin relays so that we can minimize the cost of the equipment as well as space, space in the relay room also space in the relay room also for that is only we are using the twin delays so you please see one more time application bar where used twin delays are used where minimum contacts are required where minimum contacts are required next coming to q n a1 you please see the difference between the q n1 and next coming to q n a1 you please see the difference between the QN1 and QN A1 is that QN1 is neutral line delay and QN A1. QN A1. A1 is nothing but AC immunizer. For that reason, where they have included the A. So yes, this is the description is AC immunizer DC neutral delay. You please remember this is AC immunizer DC neutral delay. Top on QN1 also DC neutral delay only. But here we are specifically mentioning why because here it immunes the it immunes the AC power, but whereas it operates on the DC neutral DC power only it operates on the DC immunity value 
is 250 volts AC. For every QN A1 delay, the immunity value is 250 volts AC. And here also same. Here also contact arrangements are 12 front contact bar, 4 back contacts, 8 front contact bar, 8 back contacts, 8 front contact bar, 4 front back contacts. Like that, the style is same only. And for external circuits in RE, railway electrified area, applications where used this AC immunized delays means for external circuits in RE, RE is nothing but railway electrification or electrified areas where because Indian railways we are using normally maximum areas of course 100% we are using AC, AC style only AC to, uh, to, uh, 25 kilovolts 25 kilovolts AC power supply we are using 24 kilovolts so for that reason there is every possibility of every possibility of induction effect induction effect on the cable so likewise it will go to the relay also it will it will be available on the R1, R2 or R3, R4, okay, where the relay, relay coil, where the relay coil. So, due to the induction effect, the neutral relays, the DC neutral relays will get chattering, will get chattering. So, 100 times per second, it gets chattering. If you won't use AC immunized relays in a RE area, RE area, then the chattering takes place in the DC neutral relay. But we can't identify, we can't identify with our bare, bare, eye, bare eyes, we can't identify with our bare eyes. But whereas it is giving some humming noise, something else like that. So for external circuits in RE area, so that induced voltage should be, should be immunized, should be immunized. That means it should be taken out, should be taken out. So the capacity of the immunity value in QN A1, QN A1 delay is 250 volts AC up to 250 volts ac it can it can immune it can immune itself it can immune itself up to 250 volts ac so normally the line relays are provided in such a manner the ac immunized voltage ac immunized voltage should not be more than should not be more than 100 volts like that should not be more than 100 volts like that if there is a if there is a requirement of more line then we are going to split it then we are going to split it that is different story we will see we will see in the next classes we will see in the next classes for the time being you please remember q n a 1 means q n a 1 so ac immunize dc neutral line delay immunity value is 250 volts ac so this already we have discussed now coming to fourth one q l 1 magnetically latch relay l means latching magnetically latch delay for point control only, this relay will be used. Where, where point to be controlled, they in that circuit, the QL1, QL1 style relays will be used. Those relays are having contact arrangement in such a manner that 8 front contact, 6 back contacts. This is fixed. This is fixed. But whereas in QN1, QNA1, there are different, different combinations. But whereas this QL1 is a fixed, fixed contact arrangement, which is having 8 front contacts and 6 back contacts. This is purely used for point control only. Next, coming to QJ1. QJ1. Thermal time delay. Here, J means thermal. J means thermal time delay. So, this contact arrangement is 2F bar 1B. 2 front contacts, 1B of back contacts. This is also fixed, fixed arrangement. Where it is to be used for time delay circuit. This QJ1 relays are used where time delay is required. Where time delay is required. So, normally you can observe in our house that electrical iron, iron is there. Those irons are available with, normally it will be available with automatic, automatic. So, once you have fixed in cotton, silk, or saffron, whatever it may be, then if until that heat, the continuously the power will be continued. Once it reaches that heat, then automatically it will be break, the contact will be break then the current will be dropped so the temperature remains in there only the temperature like that here also thermal time relays once uh, the time is fixed for 30 seconds 60 seconds like that whatever wherever the requirements basing on the requirements they will fix the time delay so once that much of time it will hold after that it will open it will get open for that reason we are using qj1 relays qj1 relays those are all time thermal time relays and coming to QBCA QBCA B means bias relay with AC immunity wherever you get wherever you see 
A in the Q style that will be AC immunized. That will be AC immunized. Here, bias relay with AC immunity. Here you see, in this contact emergency arrangement, this is having 2 2F HD, 4 bar 4B. Here, you are going to see just HD. HD means high Coming to QBCA, biased relay with AC immunity. Here you please observe 2F HD bar 4B. 2F HD bar 4B. Here the HD means heavy duty. Here the HD means heavy duty contact. So these two front contacts, these two front contacts are meant for carrying high currents, carrying high currents. So heavy duty, that is called heavy duty. Now that is called heavy duty. Where higher currents are flowing, then normal contacts won't be worked, won't be worked, should not be worked. So, should not be used, not worked, should not be used. There, this type of heavy duty contacts will be used so that its current carrying capacity is more, its switching capacity also more. So, it will, it will continuously carry the current, higher currents. So, the relay won't be, the, the function, the function won't be get affected. So, for that reason, these two fan contacts with heavy duty contacts and four back contacts, that is normal contacts, normal contacts will be used. You please see in the this one, heavy duty point contact relays to drive point machine. You please observe to drive the point machine, this QBCA, this QBCA relay is used. This QBCA relay is used. This QBCA is purely meant for the point operation only where the point is going to be operated by means of electrical motor, there the heavy duty point contact relays to drive point machine to be used. Next, coming to QT2, QT2, here T means track relay, here T means track relay, 2, 1 that is we will see later, track relay. So, these track relays are normally meant for two front contact, two back contact only, two back contact, two front contacts only, used in non r area. This QT2 relay, track relay used in non r area, that means where the traction is not available, where railway electrified area, where railway electrified is not available, there the QT2 relays will be, track relays will be used. These two are track relays, these, 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 these relays are called as track relays. Where traction, where traction supply is available, there we are going to use the QTA2. You please see the difference between the QT2 and QTA2. Q2, QT2 is purely track relay, where it can be used, used in non R area, QTA2, QTA2 is nothing but AC immunized track relay, AC immunized track relay, that will be used in R area, R area, this, this QTA2 must be used, in R area, QTA2 must be used for track relays, in non R area, QT2 should be used. These, these two should not be interchanged. These two should not be interchanged. Coming to QSPA1, QSPAI, QSPAI. QS means slow, P means pickup, A means AC immunized, and I means immunized. So, this relay is also having 8 front contacts, 4 back contacts. This is fixed, fixed contacts only. Used as repetitive rep rep relay for QT2, QTA2 in R areas. So, these relays are used where for the repetition, for the repetitor. Repetitor means slow to pick up. Why? Because once the relay is, once the track relay, TR or something else, QT2 or QT or something else relay picked up, then instantaneously the QSPA1, QSPI should not pick up, especially in R area. Why? Because there is a Hazard, there is a hazard if you if the TPR track proving relay picked up in instantaneously with the heavens the relay is once the track relay is picked up, there is a some hazard will be taking place. There is a possibility of some hazard. To avoid that hazard, we are using QSPAI, QSPA slow to pick up. The track relay is picked up. 
once the tackle lady you picked up after some time slow slow to pick up after this is a small gap that qspai qspai relay gets picked up qspai relay gets picked up the usage of qspai in re areas we will discuss in the later class we will discuss in the later class please see used as reparative relay for qt2 qt2 a2 in re area repeater it's nothing but a repeater next coming to qecxs1 qecxs1 lamp proving what do you mean by lamp proving lamp proving is nothing but in if if you see in our house if you switch on then the lamp machine is the lamp will lit the lamp will lit you can observe you can observe so that lamp is working <coughs> suppose if the lamp is blown out blown out then what you can do you can choose for some alternative arrangement you can choose for some alternate arrangements or emergency lamp or whatever it may be but whereas the same thing won't be happened in the, our railway signaling but until unless driver notices there is no lamp nobody can observe it so to avoid the hazard to avoid the danger to the railways what you are going to use we are going to take the lamp which is going to be lit repetition repetition means whether the lamp is working or not whether the lamp is litting or not should be known to the circuit should be known to the circuit not any other person of course in panel it will be reflected it will be reflected but whereas through the qecxs1 through the qecxs1 relay only the lamp proving relay only the repeater relay the, i mean the indication will be available on the panel but whereas the circuit will take clear the circuit will take care so to take care of the circuit whether the lamp is proving or not i mean whether the lamp is burning or not litting or not once the lamp is blown out then this qecxs1 relay qecxs1 this is purely meant for on aspect lamp proving relay in our, in, our, in our areas in our normally in our signaling on aspect lamp proving is different from off aspect lamp proving on aspect means nothing but red on aspect is always red only so once the on aspect repeating relay is qecxs1 and the off aspect off aspect is off aspect means yellow caution yellow means caution double yellow attention as well as as well as green for proceed green pro, proceed so all these three aspects will be taken care by the qecxs2 lamp proving relay all the for, for all these q3 QECXS2 lamp proving relay will be taken care. So once any lamp is disturbed or I mean blown out in the signaling signaling unit, then automatically the the QECXS2 off aspect with the off aspect the relay gets dropped. The relay gets dropped and immediately some station master will get the indication and the circuit will take care what to be done. What to be done? So normally it will be taken care by the some other circuits that we will discuss in the later classes if you like this video if you like 